Axe doesn't ever consider going Young Link against Hungry Box. It feels like that could very well be a better matchup than uh, Pikachu Jigglypuff. I think he's tried it um, at least once or twice. I know for a fact I've seen that at least once or twice, but I, I don't think it went great for him. I so. see. Well, I'm really interested in seeing how he handles this one because you know how before we were talking about how Young Link can hold his own against the top tiers that aren't very oppressive? Well, Fox is about as oppressive as it gets. Pretty so. much the most oppressive, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think this is a rough one for Young Link, but oh, that was a very nice jab. I see what he was going for. He was just a bit late on the wave dash back. He actually had the stock. Yeah, he wanted to sneak onto that ledge before Electrum ended, but luckily for him, reacted very quickly and got back on stage and got the kill. Yep. Young Link is kind of just annoying in terms of like getting in on him. Once Fox makes it in, he can really uh, go to town. But uh, as you can see, moves like Jab, like Jab is a very good move at keeping Fox out. Um, Axe has already used it multiple times to deny Fox from those uh, advances onto him. Yeah. Um, he's doing a great job of just using these moves to essentially oh uh, keep Fox off him, but he's also starting combos with it, like the short hop up airs leading to a lot for him. Yeah, and you see, uh, eventually, through these jabs, bombs, etc., he eventually racks up enough damage that his neutral airs can start tumbling Fox. And that's when he can actually start to go on the offense. Um, because once neutral air uh, tumbles Fox, ASDI down is off the table, and uh, Young Link, uh, his neutral game gets, gets way, way more uh, options unlocked at that point. Yeah. Oh, and the boomerang is actually going to give Axe another chance of life there. Oh, the down tilt spike. Oh man, you love to see it. Oh, and he uh, he ran. I love how he ran over to the other bomb. He knew he knew that that bomb had like a, only a few frames to go before it exploded, but yeah. that, that was just enough time for him to pick it up and toss it. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Again, some some brawl snake stuff there. Yeah. Isn't it exactly two bombs that can be out at the same time, same as same as Brawl Snake? I think you can have more than two, actually. Oh, really? I'm not quite sure, but I believe you can have more than two bombs in this game. Okay. Um, which kind of makes sense, because they take longer to pull than uh, Snake's grenades. Snake's grenades are, like, instantaneous. Right, right. I think uh, Electro Man needs to threaten Axe when he's off the edge or against, against uh, Young Link, you need to take ledge possession and you need to threaten like a ledge cop back here. Um, so far, I think Electro Man's giving him a little too much respect. Yeah, I think with uh, that's almost been a running theme of today in general is a lot of the failed edge guards, people just have not been opting to take the ledge themselves. That's so, so potent. Yeah, I think people need to realize that, you know, yes, they're top players, but they also, they can't break the game's rules. Like, their characters are still limited to a subset of rules that they have to play by. So you don't have to, you don't have to arbitrarily, like, respect them when they're off the stage, because long term, you're going to have to learn how to edge guard. For sure. Uh, we're going to a replay of the third kill. Yeah, it was a, a nice one for sure. Yeah, that, that boomerang to get him off stage or off edge and then the <laughs> down, tilt, the down tilt. Even with the trade still working. That is a meteor, but who the hell is going to be ready to meteor cancel that? Right. <laughs> and fair. he was at like 150%. So even if yeah. he meteors, he's going to go down considerably, uh, considerably right. far. Yeah, nicely done from Axe. Uh, but yeah, as you were saying, like at the end of the day, even when you're playing a top player, you're still playing the same game. You just you have to be willing to, you know, exert your advantages that you have more readily. And I can I get how that's hard. Obviously, that's way easier said than done because you're playing a player who's put way more time into this game. You know, like their history. You've watched them play on stream before, probably. It's you can get in your head very easily, your own head, just like I, I got no chance here. But if you kinda if you keep it simple in some situations, like grab edge when they're off stage, stuff like that, you can definitely at least make it more manageable. 
for yourself. I think, yeah, I think the other problem is that navigating the ledge uh, effectively in this game requires like, such a high degree of proficiency. It's like mm-hmm. if you're a, if you're a top player with years of experience under your belt, um, you're going to be able to outplay people at the ledge if they aren't like close to your uh, your level of execution and confidence. It's like you have to hit so many inputs with such frame uh, frame precision in order to effectively do what you want at the uh, at the ledge. Like there's basically this mix up game of um, mixing up their uh, ledge refreshing and like denying their double jump things like that. And it, it's really hard to do. Like it's not. I feel like it's not something you can do well until like your years into um, doing until into like practicing it. Yeah. For sure. Um, and right there at the beginning of the match, by the way, Axe had three bombs out, so it's at least three. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. I noticed. Um, but yeah, Axe... I, one thing about Axe playing this game that's so cool to watch is that he genuinely almost always looks like he's having fun. Like, it's really rare to see an Axe match where it looks like he's frustrated and you can, like, see frustration in his gameplay. That almost never happens. <laughs> The man just enjoys the game. Yeah, he's always got good things to say about, like, everyone that he plays as well. Mm -hmm. One of the nicest guys in the community, easily. Yeah, like, people would, um, people would, like, John for him, you know, after he lost, after, like, he loses to H-Box. After he lost to H-Box at, like, Genesis 6, and Axe would come on and say, like, no, H-Box really is that good. You know, like, he's such a, he's he's a really good sport, I'm sure. For sure, one of the most wholesome people in the community. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you love to see when someone just gives unconditionally, pretty much gives props to their opponent after losing. Axe is, it's, I've never seen him get salty. It might have happened like once or twice in history, but I've, I've personally never seen it. And uh, he at least never comes off as salty. Unfortunate for Electro Man right there, actually was getting a little bit of a lead, but SD's. I'm glad we didn't see a homie stock because it looked like the kind of situation where you might see one. But I honestly think like homie stocks need to get phased out. They, I think, I think they made sense for a long time, but I think that they long term we should we should start getting rid of them for sure. Yeah, I mean it just at that point I feel like uh, it's like two wrongs don't make a right because by homie stocking you're now removing 25% of the stocks in the uh, entirety of the match, whereas it would have yeah. been. 12.5%. 25% practically delegitimizes the entire match. You know, it's just too much. Yeah. So I, I understand the want, like the desire to be a good sport, but I, I really don't think it's called for to, right. to go to that extent. It's also like, where do you draw the line, right? Like, obviously, it's just for SDs, but what about when I miss my, you know, jump cancel up smash on a tech chase? Should you only stop then? Because you know what I mean. It's it's equally a flub that that led to you not dying instead of dying. Like I, it's it's it becomes like a very weird gray area of like where do you where do you only stop and where do you not? Yeah, I think everyone needs to just accept that like ledge play is a legitimate part of the game, and so is properly executing it. Like if you suicide in the process, then that's on you. Right. Yo, Electro Man. Oh, situation. Yeah, he's trying to bring this to one game apiece. Ooh, Axe getting the nares going. Okay. Damn, it could have been a drill grab, maybe. But he Yeah, honestly, fine. drill grab is very good against Young Link because he doesn't have anything quick after the drill to contest right. the drill with. It's, it's good against a lot of low tiers for that reason. Ooh, yes. Okay. Electro Man got a shot. Up throw up air. That's gonna kill. Just okay. barely. I'm really, I'm really glad this is going to game three. Uh, I don't know. I just want to see more of these top players get a run for their money. So, yeah, for sure. No, good stuff from Electro Man. Even with the SD, uh, as as I mentioned earlier, he was on the verge of taking a stock lead on the second stock, but SD'd and still manages to take that game. Super impressive against a player like Axe. Even if it is Axe's young link, that is no joke by any means. Yeah. I will say though, that is a really good stage for Fox in the matchup. I think just as an anti young link stage in general that's a good stage because mm-hmm. young link um hinges on his maneuverability and by taking those platforms right. away i think he becomes a lot less evasive because for example when he's cornered he can no longer jump to side platform and then use that to maneuver his way into the center of the stage so like when you're cornered on fd it's like you're true you're truly cornered you don't really uh you can't 
you can't uh, transport yourself vertically on that stage. Yeah, you so, don't have an escape route for sure. Yeah. So I think Axe, I think uh, Axe may opt for Dreamland. Wouldn't be a bad pick or okay. Found found it. Yeah. yeah, this one makes sense too because um, these platforms can really conflict with uh, Box's offensive game, like on the short hops. And it can make a lot of top players un uncomfortable. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was kind of a scary situation for both. Um, that and the the high ceiling of Fountain. It's always going to be a, a benefit against a uh, Box. High ceiling is uh, going to take a little bit longer for his up throws. Uh, up throw up airs and up smashes to kill you. So, right. Bit of a mistake from Electro Man right there. Okay, uh. They end up resetting to neutral. So, you have to be wary about the boomerang coming back to you. Like, after that drill, that's normally going to be a great situation. But if the boomerang is coming back to you, then uh, I'm sure Axe is paying attention to that. And, you know, and that's going to bail him out of that situation. Yeah. That's, uh, I think that's one thing with, uh, like, projectiles that don't work very traditionally, which is pretty much all of Young Link's projectiles. It's, if you're not familiar with the character, then you can forget small stuff like that all the time. Like, oh, there's a bomb sitting here still, or, oh, this boomerang's gonna come back and hit me from the other side. Yeah, I think the boomerang especially, though, is, like, pretty much just a mini game. Like, if there is a boomerang coming back, risk, you know, protect it, don't go for it. Don't go for traditional options like that. Right. Axe trying to get the down air finish there. Hard to do. Ooh, oh, wow. He actually ricochets him back into the nair. That was a really nice conversion. I'd like to see Electro Man smother Axe in a lot more of these situations, like off of Wake Up or um, off of a drill, because Young Link just doesn't have the frame data to contest Fox in these situations. Yeah, I, I feel like with, with Electro Man, when he's gotten it going, he's done a great job of applying pressure and stuff like that. But as soon as Axe hits him and throws him off, he like it needs it takes a few seconds for him to like get back in the zone, you know what I mean? Like he when he's on the offensive, he's doing fine. But when Ooh. Oh man! I, I actually didn't know he could do two. That's sick. Yeah, that was dope. But great recognition from Electro Man managing to clean up with the forward smash. But yeah, it feels like every time Axe does like land a hit, it just throws him off kilter a little bit, and it takes him so long to try to get back in that that good zone. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Axe on the verge. Oh, is he gonna finish with 69? <laughs> oh. uh, he needs to take the ledge. That's like step one to edge guarding uh, the tether characters, but yeah. Okay, that time he does, but a little premature on the shine and bad DI on the nair. Nicely done from Axe. The solid 2 1, but gotta give some props to Electro Man again. Uh, Definitely made it a lot closer than we were expecting after that game one. Yeah, that was a solid showing. I don't know how far um, Axe like, expects to get with solo Young Link. Seems like uh, things are already getting kind of hard for him. But yeah. uh, if he wants to... like, I don't really know what his intentions are with uh, mm -hmm. tournaments like these. He may very well just be playing for fun. Um, but uh, we're going to go to a Red Bull replay package. Take a look. That was a pretty sick set. Yeah. Damn, he almost four stocked in game one. That's kind yeah. of crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like I, after game one, it definitely didn't seem like it was going to be a game three situation. Yeah. Especially with like all the matchup unfamiliarity on Electro Man's end. Like I think even though it's not like a necessary it's really not necessary at all to be well versed against the links, uh if, mm -hmm. you know, to go to go deep in tournaments, but right. I can still tell when a player is well versed against them because they've got like they've got this bag of tricks and uh there are very specific counters to all of their tricks and it doesn't seem right. like Electro Man was uh, too aware of what some of those counters were. Yeah. Definitely not. The edge guarding though is very 
similar to edge guarding Samus. So in that sense, um, knowing how to edge guard these characters is valuable because like Sam- Samus is a character that you're gonna you're gonna run into once mm-hmm. in a while. Um, Tether is just like its own thing. You know, not many characters yeah. have 